And a very good morning to you. It is the 8th of April, Friday morning, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. If we go straight to the Old Testament, to the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, and I'm reading from verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For in Yahweh, the Lord is everlasting strength. And then we go straight to the New Testament, to a very famous scripture, John chapter 14 and verse 27. Jesus says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled and neither let it be afraid. Another word for peace is shalom. You know, as believers, that is one of the fruits of the Spirit. That's what we should display. People should recognize us by the peace that comes from us. Our peace does not come from the world. It comes from knowing the Prince of Peace. This world at the moment is in turmoil, stress, fear, depression, anxiety. This is the time for the Christian to display the fruit of the Spirit Peace. Psalm 20 verse 7. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. You know, George Muller is one of my heroes. He started the children's home in Bristol in England. And when he was old, some of his friends came together and they said, we want to get a pension for you. Tears filled his eyes. He said, please give it to someone else. He said, all these years, the Lord has supplied for me. I don't need anything. Please give it to somebody else. Peace comes when we put our total trust in God. The Lord says, do not let your heart be troubled. I think the opposite of peace is fear. I really do. When we are afraid and worry. Worry is a terrible thing, isn't it? It's a killer, actually. I remember reading a story many years ago of a young man who was a mountain climber. I think he lived in Australia, if I'm not mistaken. And he had some heart problems. He went to the doctor. The doctor said, you've got a rare heart disease. Go home, make yourself comfortable because you will die within the next two years. He went home and he sat down and he thought, you know something? I've got nothing to lose. I'm going to die anyway. And I think he bought an air ticket and he came to South Africa and he started to climb the mountain peaks of the mighty Drakensberg range in our country of South Africa. Some of these peaks were sheer walls of stone. He had nothing to fear because he thought he was going to die anyway. And he scaled most of them. (laughs) I think his name is in the book. And you know something? That man lived till he was in his late 80s and he died peacefully. Don't worry. It's probably never going to happen anyway. Keep your eyes on the Prince of Peace. He says, I'm not giving you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Have a wonderful day as you walk in peace. Jesus bless you. Goodbye.